When you hear the word constitution, what's the first thing you think of? Is it free speech? The right to bear arms? Or the right to a speedy and public trial? These individual liberties, known as the Bill of Rights, were not part of the original Constitution. Instead, they were added three years later. Why, you might ask? In 1787, 39 delegates signed in favor of the Constitution, while three others present, George Mason, Edmund Randolph, and Elbridge Gerry, refused because they saw a fatal flaw. They demanded a Bill of Rights. This concern did not stop the Constitution from being sent out for ratification. However, during this time, a quarrel known as the Ratification Debates began between Federalists and Anti-Federalists. It was argued the Constitution lacked specific limits on government power. In order for some states to ratify, the condition was made that a Bill of Rights had to be added. Following the ratification of the Constitution in 1788, James Madison took on the responsibility of drafting amendments that would protect our individual rights. By 1789, Madison proposed 19 amendments to the House. The House narrowed the number of amendments down to 17. Next, the Senate, with the agreement of the House, narrowed them down to 12. Finally, these 12 were sent on to the states for ratification. 10 of the 12 amendments were quickly ratified, and by December 15, 1791, enough states had ratified to authorize the adding of this list, known as the Bill of Rights, to the Constitution. Today, the Bill of Rights defines the rights and freedoms of the individual and is vital to the republic in which we live. It is a powerful instrument which we the people can use to defend our freedom, not only today, but for generations to come. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Click here to watch more videos, and click here to visit our site.